Hi, my name is Neil Good. Today I'm going to talk about how to win a Social Security disability case with a spinal related disability. First of all, you need to understand that there are three parts of the spine, mainly the cervical, the thoracic, and the lumbar. And a lot of people call cervical neck. It's the neck. It's the upper part. The thoracic is the middle and the lumbar is the lower. So a lot of people say I have neck pain, but it's actually medically cervical. So the first thing that you need to have is you need an objective test, an MRI, a CT scan, or an x-ray showing that there is something wrong there. Second thing that you need is medical records that show that you have functional limitations. So typically people get those either from a physical therapy or in their doctor's medical records. And when I'm talking about functional limitations, I'm talking about, let's say you have a badly herniated lumbar spine. So that's your lower back. That affects your legs, your feet, your thighs, your hips. So so for example, if the doctor says that you need a walker because your lumbar spine is so bad, that's evidence of Social Security that you have a severe lumbar spine disability, as well as pain, numbness, bad gait, loss of functioning, falling down, those types of things. And with the cervical spine, there's more about using your arms, your shoulders, your hands, turning your head, dropping things. The third thing that you need is a statement from your doctor saying what he believes your limitations are, and they have to be severe enough to show that you can't work. Social Security does not accept an opinion from a doctor that says this person can't work. They want to know how long you can sit, how long you can stand, how much you can lift, how long you can hold things, how long you can use your hands and fingers. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for listening. If we can be of assistance to you, feel free to call us at 800-419-7606 or reach out to us at thegoodlawgroup.com. Thank you.